And at this point, if you haven't heard of Tara Reid, um, I would say, you know, when did you first come out with your story? And again, like, don't, you know, we all, the details are all out there. You can hear, yeah. go to 60 Minutes if you really want and, and hear her interview. Um, but just to mm -hmm. recap for anybody who hasn't heard of you, uh, when did you kind of originally come out with your story uh, about your experience with Joe Biden? Well, actually, it's, it was two years this month. I came out about the sexual harassment to a local paper. I was in a writer's group, and one of them was a publisher, actually, and then introduced me to the reporter because he saw something I wrote, and he was like, um, you know, would you be willing to talk to a reporter? And I, I really... I was really wanting to come forward, but afraid to. And then I saw, you know, Lucy Flores standing up very bravely and then getting kind of torn to shreds along with the other six women that talked about being uncomfortable um, with their encounters with Joe Biden and him being very, um, you know, actually just sexually harassing, um, you know, unwanted touching. That's what it is. And uh, so I decided to go ahead and come forward. I was going to try to tell the whole story, got shut down, got scared, immediately was called a Russian agent. Um, By whom? <laughs> like just the Atlantic, a, writer from, a writer from the Atlantic um, called me that and a couple other, the Daily Dot. And um, it was just all over online. And then um, it went viral kind of. And uh, then I, I wanted protection. So I tried to go to Time's Up. And right around January, and there was rumors that Biden was going to, you know, drop out. And so I was like, well, it doesn't matter to me. I simply want to get the story forward, but I want, you know, some legal counsel. I want some protection, you know, and that didn't work out. Ryan Grimm exposed Time's Up. Anita Dunn was working for the Joe Biden campaign, didn't tell me. The Time's Up didn't tell me that this was happening. There was a conflict of interest. Um, so that was really, you know, kind of a horrible kind of experience. So then finally, um, I was able to come forward uh, on the Kitty Helper show. And when that went viral, then there was like a, you know, a kind of a delay of like 36 days or like a month. And then, you know, and then the pounce, the media pounce. That was so like a sweet, like blonde girl. She had like, was that, is that, was that who you're talking about? Was she like blonde? I'm trying to think of like, which, you know, I've seen like so many interviews, but I'm just the Katie Helper interview. Oh, Katie Helper is a podcaster. Okay. Um, he's a great show. Katie Helper. She also does um, uh, a Useful Idiots with um, Matt Tybee for Rolling Stone. And I think oh, Rolling Stone. Okay. And now they're just doing their own thing. Um, but yeah, check her out. Katie Helper's great. And then Megan Kelly actually was the person who stepped up and did my full real interview where you can get the details. And that was an amazing experience. She really asked tough questions, but she's very trauma informed. So mm -hmm. she did it in a way that I didn't feel traumatized. Whereas like I write in my book about, you know, the Washington Post reporters, and New York Times reporters, it was brutal. And um, of course, there's that Politico headline about me being a manipulative um, something user and calling me a liar. It was, you know, it was horrible. And if you're a civilian, to the media, it was really shocking, you know. Yeah, it seems like the legacy media doesn't uh, doesn't know what to do. I, I've seen them go so like hot and cold on you, and I've seen them as far as like sexual assault goes. You know, uh, a number of women came forth to 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 say that you know Trump had sexually harassed them. It's, I think it was like twenty five women at some point, yeah. and you know Trump denied it, but they pressed on and on and on. And here you and half a dozen other women come out to accuse Joe Biden of sexual assault. And to me, it seems they kind of just drop it. They kind of just sweep it under the rug. It doesn't seem like there's equal attention paid uh, to, you know, Democrats as there are Republicans. And I, I just can't imagine like how frustrating the last, I mean, all throughout just watching Joe's campaign. I, I can't imagine how hard that must have been for you and to then come out with your story and then, you know, some days people will ignore you. And then you have other days where you said recently, even Bill Maher was coming out and kind of slamming you or talking shit about you on Twitter. Um, I oh, just, he he yeah. talked shit about me on the breakfast club with um, Charlemagne the God. And I guess Charlemagne the God stuck up for me. So, okay, well, that's nice. They were talking about Cuomo and um, he said, and Bill Maher answered something really crude and said he didn't believe me. I won't even say on air what he said, but it, cause it's just disgusting. And it's, you know, for me, it's not even just the personal ego thing about being 
disbelieved and being attacked. It's how other survivors see that, how, sh you know, and that silences them, you know, cause I'm an extrovert introvert kind of both. And, but I can, I can hold my own in an interview, whereas someone else might never have had that experience, don't want that experience. And, you know, that's not the way they want to bring their story forward. Um, so it's just, it's, it's just ugly. And I think the the way already it started, the way the Cuomo, um, they, over the weekend, there's been all kinds of trolls all over Lindsay Boylan and Charlotte after they came forward. And I, I'm just hoping, you know, that it stops and we get a wake up call for America about our rape culture. Cause you know, it's, it's nonpartisan. Sexual misconduct is everywhere. And you pointed out Trump had a ton. I supported E. Jean Carroll who was raped, you know, um, who tried to talk about it. Um, a lot of people get silenced when it's a powerful person. And um, they used a special thing with me. They said I was a Russian agent. And then they said, then they class shamed me and said I was a liar, questioned everything about me, dug through my background. I even had people say that there were private investigators walking up and down the old street where I used to live, knocking on doors just for anything they could get. And that's, it's wow. just, it's stunning. 